This is a special thanks to Dion Lee. Dion, I hope you're watching this. I did a review on, you can see it back there, uh, the Radical Firearm 7.62x39. And if you've got a 7.62x39 upper, you know, or if you've done any research, that those hard primers, you know, shooting the cheap ammo, and honestly, you know, that's why we're getting a 7.62x39 upper. It's not for the ballistics. It's because we want to run some cheap ammo and have fun uh, with our AR. Those primers are tough, and a lot of triggers just, they just don't do it. And I mentioned that in the review, and Dion got back to me, and he said, hey, I got an enhanced firing pin um, from a company, Black Rifle Arms, and it works great. I can use it with my other triggers. So I contacted Black Rifle Arms, and they sent me this. I'm hoping that you're watching this. Well, if you're watching it, it's because it worked. Because if it doesn't work, um, I'm not going to post the review because they sent me this to test review and, and that would just seem wrong to have somebody send you something and then give it a bad review. Um, but that's why I always say I do an honest review. If it's a bad review, then I just don't post it unless I buy it. But they sent me this. And actually, I had a great conversation um, with Black Rifle Arms. They specialize in piston ARs. And I, and I don't want to go into that. But anyway, I was really impressed with the company. And so I'm really anxious to try this and maybe um, hoping, open up some future reviews and, and working with them. So here's, here's the firing pin. Now, like I had explained to Dion, and this was probably about 10 or 15 years ago when I got my first 7.62x39 upper, I had a firing pin that was supposed to improve it. It didn't. It didn't work, and so that's why I kind of moved into the triggers. So what's going to be, I guess, kind of comical is, is if Black Rifle Arms has got this right, and I put this in, and I can use um, my jewel trigger, or I've got an AIM Surplus Custom, which I really like, and then some of my standard triggers and stuff, and if this solves that, I mean, that's awesome. It's like 10 bucks, and then, then I feel kind of silly that I bought you know, these other enhanced triggers, not that they're bad triggers, you know, hyperfire triggers, great trigger. So anyway, let's just get to it. I'm gonna throw this in the BCG and then I'm, I'm gonna just toss that on a bunch of different uppers with different triggers. We're gonna see if it works. And if it does, that's, that's gonna be huge. Okay, so this is actually probably the most nervous that I've been shooting a video in a long time. You might be thinking, what the? Why? Because I've got a firing pin from Black Rifle Arms, and I really want it to work. So if you're actually watching this, it means that it did, because I wouldn't post it if it didn't. But as of right now, I don't know that because I haven't shot it yet. So what I've got it in, I got it in a, just a cheap polymer, kind of my, my testing lower, and I've got a non- match trigger. Actually, I mean, it's a, it's a nice two-stage, but it's kind of the classic military setup. And I already know that before I swap firing pins, that this would not fire off the 7.62, the steel case stuff. So no, I don't have a banana clip. I don't need a banana clip. I don't need to dump 30 rounds to test it. Uh, if you want me to, by all means, send me the ammo. I'd be happy to do it. I know that I couldn't even get through five, five rounds with a light primer strike. So let's just go ahead um, and give this a go here. And if I get through all five rounds, that's looking good. And then we're going to work our way up. Our final one is going to be my jewel, which just, I don't, if I recall, it won't even fire. I can't even get one fired. So let's give it a go. <laughs> all right yeah all right so not a single one with that let's try the next level up a match grade not quite as finicky as a princess is my jewel um but so far so good okay i don't know about you but the suspense is killing me that first one was a match grade trigger from foxtrot mike it is not a drop in it is a sweet two-stage basically a military spec type trigger 
that's about three and a half pounds and it's nice and it's crisp and it wouldn't fire my 762 by 39 so i fired five rounds now next one i've got is my aim surplus sstat and i love this trigger this one's down to like three two and a half pounds i don't know but it is light and it definitely did not like the 762 so let's give it a shot see how it goes I missed one, but sweet. All right, now the final ultimate test, my jewel. Okay, just so none of you negative Neds wanna say that wasn't a jewel. Take a look in there. That my friend is a jewel. That thing's like I don't know, 20, 30 years old. I don't even think they make jewel anymore. And I love her, but man, she is, she is a finicky princess. So let's give her a try. Look at the hammer on that. I mean, man, she is, she is delicate. Okay. Before I do this though, I do want to say, um, the black rifle arms told me because I, I talked to him at great lengths, was excited, you know, had a great conversation, great business model. Anyway, he did say that it won't work in every trigger. But I figure we, we've got two, we're going for three. Let's see how it does with the jewel. Okay guys, here we go. Final test, the jewel. Oh. Light primer strike. That wasn't bad. Normally, I can't get any with a jewel. I'd get five out of five with light primer strike or four out of five. So I am definitely impressed. Okay, just to finish up, I've got Herders, Wolf, and Tula in here. I've gone back to my AIM surplus SSTAT trigger, which is a pretty, oh, I think that's gonna represent most of the drop-in triggers pretty well. The Jewel, that's a pretty rough test. So let's see how this one goes with 10 rounds, three different types of steel case ammo. Nice. Black Rifle Arms. Sweet. I absolutely love this enhanced firing pin. It took care of my issue. I can now use my 7.62 on one of my favorite uppers instead of having a rough trigger. Anyway, if you like, be sure to like, comment, sub, leave comments. Black Rifle Arms. They got some awesome stuff. They are one of the few companies out there that does piston ARs. And I got to say, I got really excited talking to them. I'm hoping maybe to work with them in the future. I have interest in a piston. They've got a couple of different routes. You can send in an existing firearm and they'll turn it into a piston. But check them out. Um, the guy, I really like him. Former military, good business model. Anyway, this, this firing pin from them, five stars, two thumbs up all the way. Thanks for watching. Happy shooting and be safe.